I spent the last couple of months building the ultimate home media server setup. In this video, I'm gonna share everything I learned with you guys, covering a range of different technologies to show you how we can set up a media server which is completely automated from end to end. Let's jump into it. Now, the way I'm gonna structure this video is I'm gonna articulate and explain what each of these do so you have an understanding. I'm gonna put links down in the description to great tutorials on how to get that started. If I did an entire setup on all of these technologies, this video would be too long. Starting with Portainer. Because we have so many applications up and running, I like to have each of those running in a container and Portainer gives us a great way to view all of those in a great user interface. At a couple clicks of a button, you can go in and see all of the containers that you have up and running on your network. And what's really cool is you don't have to remember any commands, you can simply click a button to open up a shell terminal and get direct access to your container. It just makes life really easy. Now you can create and configure your containers using Portainer itself. However, I found it was still nice to have everything as code using Docker Compose files, which look something like this. So Portainer gives us a nice graphical interface where we can see all of our running containers and we can get direct console access too. Next up, we have Homer, which is just a really nice dashboard of all of our services related to our media server. We have all of our services up here, the status of it, so it does a ping every so often. Now these are all blank because I have nothing up and running, but if somebody was watching a TV show, it would show you if you were downloading anything, it would show you what's currently in flight. And it also gives you a nice calendar view of when TV shows are going to be released next. It's a great tool, which is really easy to use. It's got a drag and drop interface to change things around. And I just really like it. We then have our BitTorrent client. For this, I'm using QBitTorrent. This was by far the most recommended one on across all the forums online. It's completely free, has many great features and has a nice web UI so you can access it anywhere from within your local home network. Now you do want to pair this with a VPN to anonymize your traffic when you are doing your downloading. And I've got a great tutorial on how to do that in the description down below. We've covered management, dashboards, torrenting, and our VPN. Now let's get into where all of the automation and magic happens. Starting with Sonar. Sonar is for TV shows. You search for whichever TV show you want it'll automatically connect to all of your torrenting websites, search for it, automatically download it, add it to your torrent client, and then even do the cleanup and renaming of folders once it is completed. It's an amazing piece of software that does all of the automation for you. Radar is the exact same thing as Sonar, but it's for movies. And Prowler is something that just makes life easy. While we're only using Sonar and Radar for TV shows and movies, there are other applications for audiobooks, for music, for games, etc. And when you have all these different applications, you have to set up all those settings to connect to the third party websites to find the torrents. Prowler takes care of that for you, where you can simply add any torrenting website that you want at a click of a button, it'll automatically connect into all your different applications and update those settings for you. So instead of updating config in all these different places, you just do it in Prowler and it takes care of everything else for you. That's automation, now let's touch on media. I tried out a bunch of different media options. I tried Plex, MB, and finally I landed on Jellyfin. I think it's absolutely the best choice for this type of use case when you wanna stream media from your own media server across your entire network. It's free, open source, community driven, which I absolutely love. I've installed it on both my phone and my Android TV, and so far it's been working great. Next up, we have a mobile app called Luna C, and this is what they call a request library. This connects into all of your different services such as Sonar and Radar, and it simply lets you request any TV show, movie, or file that you want. Simply select the TV show or movie that you want, and it will handle the rest. It'll send it through to Sonar or Radar, and it'll be ready to stream within hours. You can do the same within Sonar or Radar directly through the web interface, However, I find this is just a really nice mobile app that makes it so much easier. And finally, we have these two, Nginx, Reverse, Proxy, and Usenet. Now I put these down the bottom because I haven't actually implemented them yet, but they are great to know about. Nginx Reverse Proxy is what you wanna set up to expose certain services to the internet. Essentially, 
At the moment, I can only watch my media when I am at home. When I connect to my Jellyfin server, it's only accessible from my local area network. However, if I put an Nginx reverse proxy in front of that, I can expose that to the internet and connect from anywhere in the world. That means I can watch things when I'm on the way to work, I'm on holidays, or I can even share access to my family and friends. And finally, we have Usenet. This is something I'm not too familiar with, but multiple people have recommended it to me. It appears to be an alternative way to access media. Instead of torrenting, you use Usenet, and it's meant to be a lot quicker. So that is how I built my ultimate home media service setup where everything is automated end to end. Like I said earlier, I have put links down in the description down below on how to install and configure all of these applications. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if I've missed anything in my months of research, please leave a comment down below. I would love to know if there's another application out there that could make this even better. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.